Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, I'm going to be going through all the puzzles that I completed for the month of July. So there's a bit of a mix. There's some from videos, which I'll link in the cards above. There's some from my Instagram feed and there's some that I just sort of felt like doing. Um, I didn't get quite as many done this month as I would have hoped. Unfortunately, things just were a bit busy and I didn't get as much puzzling time in as I would have liked, but I still got to do quite a few fun and beautiful ones. So that's good. And in the description box, I'll pop the details of all the puzzles just in case you're curious. Um, for each puzzle, I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it and yeah, just a, sort of a quick mini review. And then at the end of the video, I'll let you know which was my least favorite puzzle and which one was my favorite. So there's not too many to go through, just a couple of smallish stacks. Um, so they're not in any particular order either, it's just however I grab them. Um, so this first one's from an Australian company called One But Many, um, and they're actually one of my favorite brands. Um, this is a 1000 piece puzzle and it's from their natives collection and it's called Give Me A Home, which is like referring to a song. And yeah, it just features um, this, you know, photography of all these beautiful gum leaves and yeah, they're just really richly colored and just so vibrant. And it was quite challenging to put together. It definitely, you know, yeah, it was definitely a challenge puzzle. And, you know, you definitely had to sort your pieces into colors. Um, otherwise it just would have been impossible to do. Um, but yeah, definitely well worth it because it just, the end result was just so stunning. And yeah, I don't know why I waited so long to do this. Like this is actually from their first collection and they've had a couple since then, but I think I was, I was just, apprehensive about it because it you know I knew it was going to be challenging but yeah really glad I did it and just really enjoyed it um, and yeah like I said they're one of my favorite brands just because you know they have beautiful uh, like images which I believe are done by all like all done by Australian creatives and you know beautiful packaging very luxe like they have a fabric bag and everything um, but yeah the pieces themselves are just really nice really good quality um, like a gray board backing uh, like a medium thickness sort of matte linen finish uh, yeah very matte like barely any sheen and they fit together really nicely um i believe this one it's like one of the older like from the first collection so i think the pieces have changed a little bit over time i think in this one they might fit a bit more loosely than they do now um, but they still fit really well together they just don't um like hold together super tightly so you can sort of pick up sections but sometimes they crumble a little bit but yeah still the fit is really nice i don't think uh from memory i didn't have a single false fit which is really important with something like this when you have a lot of the similar colors and shapes and things um yeah so overall very impressed with it had a really good time and yeah definitely glad to have this one in my collection and then the next one is also from an australian uh, puzzle company which is I think a bit fairly new compared to one but many this one's called the final piece puzzles and this is from their collection called the native bunch kind of kind of similar but this puzzle is called wild protea and is 1000 pieces and yeah it features this beautiful like artwork um, of yeah wild protea like the name suggests and it really sort of captures what this flower looks like and the texture and everything like I can sort of like almost see how soft the middle is like on these flowers this middle section is like almost velvety. So yeah, it really sort of captures that and it's just really stunning. This too was actually quite challenging um, just because like there's a lot of similar colors and shapes and there's actually quite a lot of dark background. So there were a lot of pieces that I had to sort of sort by piece shape to try and get the background done. Um, but yeah, I was quite impressed with this brand. This is the first time I've tried them. Nice packaging, comes in like a beautiful drawstring fabric bag. Um, the pieces are like, they've got like a sort of gray brown uh, cardboard backing kind of like thin to medium thickness um, they actually look fairly glossy like they sort of are glossy but surprisingly I didn't have too much trouble with sheen and glare when actually putting it together but I guess that's going to be dependent on your lighting but for me yeah I didn't really have too many issues with it and yeah the pieces fit nicely together you can pick up sections really well um, don't think there was much dust at all um, yeah, the only I had, yeah, the only thing with the fit was, uh, there was like one or two false fits and that was it. So still pretty impressive. And of course they were like in the black, this dark sort of area. So that's sort of not surprising that you might get false fits there, but yeah, just one or two. So not, not too much of a bother, but yeah, really liked it. And yeah, definitely looking forward to trying more from this brand. And then this next one is from Gallison. Also more flowers, there's a bit of a theme here this month. 
Um, so this is flower market, 1000 piece puzzle, and it's a lot more pastel compared to the other two. And yeah, just like the name suggests, it is a flower market. So you've got some people shopping and buying fresh flowers and all these like buckets of beautiful colored pastel and also bright flowers. And you know, there's a few dogs here as well, you know, just enjoying their time out. Um, so, you know, I definitely enjoyed the image and, you know, uh, overall, I had a fairly good time, but I always have mixed feelings with Gallison um, because I'm not a big fan of their pieces. So the pieces are like white paper backing and uh, I don't like white paper backing that much because I find sometimes it can get damaged easily and peel and things like that. And that was actually the case with this. There were some pieces that were a little bit peeling or like torn paper and stuff like that. So that's kind of why I don't not a big fan and um, also the pieces in this one were very loose fitting so you could not pick up sections at all they sort of just crumbled and they were also quite shiny like quite glossy so I did actually have a bit of trouble seeing some of the puzzle pieces while working on it so yeah I wasn't a huge fan of the quality or the the way the pieces were made in this one but you know I always sort of forgive Gallison because I just you know love their designs and even sort of like the aesthetics of like the packaging and stuff so yeah so I still enjoyed it for what it was worth but yeah definitely not my favorite piece quality that's for sure and then I've got another one here from an, like another Australian company so we've got a few Australian brands uh, from uh, during July and this one's a 1000 piece one and it's from the company uh, bespoke letterpress which also make like a lot of stationery and like gift wrap and stuff and they tend to use uh, the same sort of designs like from their puzzles on that as well and vice versa and this one I couldn't find a name on it but I'm pretty sure it's called Summer Fruits and it's 1000 pieces don't know if I said that but uh, yeah it has this beautiful very kind of pastel-y and bright design as well of like fl like flowers and fruits and leaves and stuff and it's got I guess the whole image on the back because it sort of wraps around um, but yeah, it's very, very pretty. It too was challenging. I've been doing quite a few challenging puzzles. Um, yeah, just, yeah, because there's like a lot of similar things like the lemons look really similar and these flowers and the leaves took a long time. So yeah, definitely challenging, um, but very, very pretty. And, you know, again, worthwhile putting it together because it just looks so beautiful. Um, so this is the first time trying this brand as well. And um, yeah, I was like pretty pleased with the quality. Um, I mean, the box and everything's very nice. Um, the pieces do have white paper backing, but it was in really good condition. Like, I don't think there were really any damaged pieces in this. So, you know, it was, you know, nicely made and the pieces, um, they were a little bit shiny, but actually, again, they were pretty matte, uh, like when I was puzzling. So I didn't have too many issues there. Um, again, dependent on your lighting. Um, trying to remember if the pieces held together I feel like I'm not sure I did this one quite a while ago now like the beginning of July so I can't quite recall um, but I know there wasn't really any puzzle dust um, so I feel like the pieces might have held together like some of the time might have been hit and miss but don't quote me um, yeah so but overall I yeah quite enjoyed it yeah even though like it had the white paper backing which isn't my favorite it still performed well and overall had a very like positive experience and yeah definitely excited to do more from this brand and then a couple more left for this stack um, so this was my first time doing a puzzle from the brand okay I don't know how you say this remarks remarks someone let me know um, so this one's called Oceana and it's 1000 pieces and it's a really cute little well like the name suggests ocean themed image um, I guess the whole image is on the back it's a rectangle and yeah it's just almost like a little quilted pattern it's got all these little squares or cubes with different like patterns or colors in them and then all the way throughout it's got cute little like stylized cartoony uh, sea creatures like so turtles jellyfish uh, killer whales a shark with little rosy cheeks which I think is adorable octopus squids yeah like all sorts of stuff so it's just really fun and colorful really uh, love the image but I have to say it was interesting because uh, the quality to me is pretty much exactly the same as Seiko quality if you've done that um, so which I don't love unfortunately so I don't know if they're owned by the same company like is this brand part of Seiko or they use the same manufacturer I'm not sure what the deal is but yeah almost 
if not exactly the same. So same sort of piece shapes. Um, yeah, very like cardboard back, a lot of puzzle dust, very thinnish kind of pieces. They do not hold together well at all. Quite glossy on the top. So yeah, definitely not my favorite, which is a real pity because um, this brand seems to have some really cute images and yeah. Uh, I guess the only the the plus it has going for it over Seiko though is its box is nicer um, like it's in better quality my Seiko puzzles that are sort of like in this kind of box like tend to have paper peeling off whereas this is like yeah it's okay like it's still a pretty cheap squishy box but it's all right anyway so uh, glad to try it but I don't think I'll be getting too many from this brand unless they're like really inexpensive and really cute but yeah still interesting to try and then uh, there's this Ravensburger one which I did a video on so that I'll pop that up the top and this is from the circle of colors series and it's 500 pieces and this one is just called I think it's just called ocean uh, yeah just ocean and yeah this is my first time doing a round Ravensburger puzzle so it was quite an interesting experience um, first up I love the image I just think it's just beautiful this sort of underwater scene with all these different uh, you know, underwater fish and sea creatures and just this sort of beautiful rainbow gradient kind of traveling around the image. Yeah, just gorgeous. Um, and yeah, some of the other puzzles from the series look really beautiful too. They all are sort of rainbow or rainbow gradient kind of themed. Um, yeah, so as for the image and everything, I quite liked it. And overall, the quality is, you know, your kind of Ravensburger quality, like blue, um, blue backing board I guess or blue yeah cardboard on the back as you know you uh, have probably seen in lots of other Ravensburger puzzles and um, the pieces fit really nicely together like you know not too loose or too tight and I could pick up sections kind of I think like some of the time um, lots of puzzle dust as usual with Ravensburger but the one thing that I really didn't like was that the pieces were very glossy or glary on top um, so I noticed like this puzzle compared to like the sort of rectangle 1000 piece puzzles is a lot more glossy like just the way the whatever the top coating is it's just almost looks like it's varnished or something it's yeah quite interesting whereas the others are way more matte so uh, yeah that kind of annoyed me because on the back it specifically says glare free finish which is like completely wrong lies lies I tell you um, but apart from that, you know, I still enjoyed the experience and it actually came with a really big poster as well, which is the first time I've really sort of seen something like that in Ravensburger. So yeah, definitely, um, overall, I think quite impressed, had a great time, would definitely do more from the series and yeah, just think it's really gorgeous. So let's, um, get into the second stack of puzzles. So these next couple were in a video that I did recently. Um, so I'll pop that up the top. Um, so this is the one I actually pieced together in the video. Uh, so this is from the brand Le Puz and this one's called I Heart Stickers and is 1000 pieces. And as you can tell, it's just a really bright, colorful, very fun image. It's like this collage of all these sort of quirky, whimsical kind of retro stickers, like sort of from the seventies and eighties. Um, yeah, just really fun. Uh, so much detail packed into it, sort of, yeah, this collage type image. Um, yeah, I really had a lot of fun doing this um, and it was my first time trying the brand. So yeah, I was pretty excited to do it. Um, yeah, so the pieces are all, all irregular shaped, a bit like Springbok or Cobble Hill. Um, they were very like cleanly cut. Um, I think like with Springbok and Cobble Hill, even the like edges aren't as sort of cleanly cut. They're a little bit more cardboardy or textured, whereas this was like very like neat. Um, and it had like a, I guess it's a paper backing. I'm not sure if it's like colored cardboard or if it's paper stuck on, but each of their puzzles has like a different colored backing. So this one had like a sort of purpley gray color. Um, and yeah, the pieces are really smooth. And for the 1000 piece ones, they're kind of more on the thinner side, um, maybe a little bit bendy, but still kind of feel like hard and strong on the top. Um, there was like zero puzzle dust. That is my cat sneezing maybe that's where the puzzle dust went um yeah and the pieces um they had a bit of like sheen on them with this one not too much just a little bit here and there so that was probably my main con with this one and um what else uh they fit together reasonably well like 
if you gently picked up a section it would usually stay together but some but it was a little bit hit and miss but overall yeah really fun to put together fairly challenging um but yeah but yeah the other thing i like about this brand is like the packaging is very fun and aesthetically pleasing and on the back of every one of the boxes is like a different sort of activity or information or something like this one's like got all the uh like stickers you can find so you can like tick them off and as you find them in this so yeah pretty cool and what else it comes with like resealable bag and a poster and yeah just love the brand and um it's sort of vintage quirky kind of like vibe yeah very fun and uh, definitely want to do more of these and so this next one uh, I didn't do in the video but I actually did it soon after and I really enjoyed this one too so this one is a 500 piece one and it's called lighten up and features all these like uh, kind of quirky very like vintage bizarre candles you know you got like a hula girl a teddy bear a block of cheese like a banana like all sorts of weird candles also kind of very nostalgic as was the sticker one um, but I was really curious to do this one because on their website it actually says the 500 piece ones have slightly different pieces than the 1000 piece ones and that is the case so this one has very thick chunky pieces compared to the 1000 piece it's probably like double the thickness I would say and they hold together very well not much dust either um, kind of like a little bit shiny there wasn't too much sheen when I put this one together again depends on your lighting but yeah and I guess like this part of the image up here is a little bit more tricky but it was only 500 pieces so it wasn't too challenging at all but yeah really fun as well and yeah the same sort of thing with the box very cool and this one's got a like crossword puzzle in the back so yeah that's fun that they sort of include that um, this one came with like the poster and resealable bag oh and the color for the backing on this one was green so yeah kind of fun like a fun little detail so yeah really been enjoying this brand and then next up we have a treffle puzzle this one's a 1500 piece one and it is called uh, flowers in vases a very very creative name <laughs> so it's kind of almost a very classic image it looks very almost something you see in like an old section of the art gallery or something um, very beautifully kind of i guess painted or drawn but and you know beautiful colors um, but kind of i guess not the most exciting image but you know i just sort of wanted to do it i was doing lots of flowery puzzles uh, when i did this one so i you know thought why not and plus i hadn't really tried any treffle puzzles like of this size i think i've tried like a 500 piece one but i hadn't really sort of tried any of their larger size ones so definitely interesting to try it um, so the quality is pretty nice um, so it's like gray board although i did find some of the gray board backing hadn't been like cut through on the pieces so some of the pieces were sort of still stuck together and actually that like final layer of I guess cardboard on the back was actually tearing on some of them so mate, the quality control was like mm, a bit so-so in this one but overlooking that the pieces you know they fit fairly nicely together I think there were a couple false fits in here especially like on these like lines down here which is fair enough and it was the fit is a bit more on the looser side so you can mm, maybe sometimes it's a bit hit and miss if you can pick up sections or not uh, yeah not not too much because it is yeah more of a loose fit but they still sort of fit nicely and it's sort of a matte linen finish although I did even though it is kind of a matte linen finish there was still a little bit of sheen so yeah I don't know now I'm starting to rethink how much I did like this one I don't I think I like the image more than I like the quality um, but you know I guess it kind of feels actually a bit like in the realm of like Clementoni where I have a few Clementoni in my collection and I do enjoy them but you know they have a looser fit and the pieces themselves feel nice quality like with the sort of linen finish and you know the thickness and stuff like that and the cardboard backing but yeah they have a loose fit and and like I said this one had actually a bit of like damage slash quality control issues so yeah I'm, I'm definitely still interested in trying more from this brand um, to sort of see you know what the quality is like in those but I think overall it kind of feels nice quality but mm. so yeah mixed sort of thoughts and feelings on this one but yeah you know still glad I tried it also the box is I feel like really oversized it's like way too big for the puzzle inside 
And then this next one is one I did a video on, um, again, linked up the top. So this is a very bonkers puzzle. It's from Magnolia Puzzles and it's called Optical Illusion and is a square puzzle and it's um, 1,050 pieces. And yeah, it was uh, really, really challenging. Probably one of the most, or if not the most challenging puzzle I've ever done. But that being said, it was still really fun and cool to put together. Yeah, it took ages to do, but the like, just seeing it like come together because I started from the middle working outwards was really cool. So yeah, I really love how it turned out. Although uh, sadly I was missing a piece. So that's kind of frustrating. Um, and I have contacted them. They have like a missing piece kind of like form on their website, but I haven't heard anything back yet. So maybe I'll have to, you know, send them a DM on Instagram or something, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really have been enjoying the Magnolia Puzzles Polity. Um, the pieces are sort of a nice thickness. They have like a gray board backing, a very like smooth finish, which you almost expect should be glossy, but it's fairly matte. Um, the pieces hold together really well. You can pick up sections. There's not too much dust. So yeah, overall, I really love the quality of these and I've got quite a few in my collection now. And yeah, this was like a, just a bonkers puzzle to do. <laughs> like, so just weird and you know, crazy, but I really enjoyed it too. So yeah, definitely glad I did it. Um, don't think I'll be doing it anytime soon, but it was a interesting and fun experience. And then we have another sort of floral plants, birds kind of puzzle. So this is from Genuine Fred, 1000 pieces, and it's called Cape Town. And it has, yeah, all these beautiful flowers and birds, which I'm guessing, you know, you can find in Cape Town in South Africa you know, guessing by the name. And it even has like, I guess, what is proteas like that other puzzle had with the sort of soft middle. But yeah, I really love the style. It's actually by the artist Helen Dardick, who I think did this puzzle over here. So yeah, I really like her artwork style. It's just really bold and colorful and yeah, just really beautiful. So yeah, I really enjoyed the image. Um, it was a little bit tricky, not too bad. Like there's a lot of colored sections that were easy to put together, but the leaves were definitely a little bit tricky. Um, but um, the sort of quality control of the puzzle wasn't good. There was actually quite a lot of damaged pieces, which was a bit surprising because I've done quite a few Fred or genuine Fred puzzles before and I've quite liked them and have enjoyed the quality. Like normally the quality is pretty good. Like the actual pieces themselves are nice, like gray board backing, like matte linen finish. Um, they fit together pretty well, not too much dust, that sort of thing. But yeah, there were quite a few pieces that were bent um, or a bit like misshapen and things like that. Or, yeah, so that was a bit disappointing. I don't know what happened there. I guess something in manufacturing. Um, but you know, despite that, I still really enjoyed the image and I, I definitely still want to do more puzzles from this brand, mainly because I have a whole bunch in my collection that I haven't done. <laughs> um, so I've got a couple left. Um, so these two are actually borrowed from a friend. Um, so I've got, this one's from Unidragon and was my first time trying this brand. So Unidragon does wooden puzzles and got an elastic band around here because their boxes don't close very well. So yeah, which I just found out actually, uh, cause I, I liked this one so much and I, I went and bought a big different design one for myself and it arrived with the lid not really staying on very well and pieces everywhere. But anyway, so this one is called Wandering Jellyfish um, and it's size medium, so it's 222 pieces. They sort of like tend to have designs that come in multiple sizes. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Um, it wasn't too big when finished, like, you know, it could fit in front of you, but yeah, it's actually three sort of mini puzzles, like these three jellyfish. Um, and I believe they glow under black light, but unfortunately I couldn't test that because I didn't have any black light. But, um, you know, but I think it's really cool. But either way, even without that, it was like really such a gorgeous image or images to put together. Very like pretty colors and very vibrant. But yeah, the wooden pieces are just, yeah, I, I know lots of people like Unidragon. I didn't really understand why I was like, isn't it just, you know, another wooden puzzle company with cute whimsy pieces? Yes, but the whimsies are just stunning and amazing. So they had like such teeny tiny, little pieces, but they're so intricate. Like they had pieces that were just so detailed and like the way they were cut, there was just so much detail in such a tiny piece. And there were like even sort of little uh, etched details into lots of pieces. So yeah, and all the whimsies were all related to like, you know, underwater ocean type 
themes like there were little fish and jellyfish and treasure chests and like you know seahorses and things like that and yeah it was just amazing and then even the sort of weird irregular shaped pieces were really beautiful too so yeah really enjoyed my experience with this and yeah just I don't know quite unlike anything I've ever done so you know hopefully I'll get a chance to maybe do a video on the other puzzle that I bought myself it is a big one so I think it's gonna be quite a challenge won't tell you too much about it I'll save that for when whenever I get to do a video on it um, but yeah really enjoyed it a lot of fun super glad to have tried it and then the other one which I borrowed from the same friend this is from Art and Fable um, and this one's called Birth of a Dream and it is 500 pieces and this is my first time doing a 500 piece one from this brand and I mean I have done some Art and Fable so I really love this brand it's such a luxurious brand everything is this very soft touch finish the box the pieces even like this sort of reference picture or picture card inside is all this sort of very soft silicony feel it's very nice but yeah so the image on this one's quite a sort of abstract one um i guess birth of a dream is sort of maybe a good name for it because it feels very dreamlike everything's very surreal sort of like a hot air balloon which is a fish but the hot air balloon part is a boat and then the boat has tentacles and bicycle wheels and it's like strange people and dogs and yeah weird creatures and fish it's yeah it's very surreal and dreamlike but also quite beautiful not exactly my style but you know I can still appreciate it it's still a beautiful artwork um, but yeah love the quality pieces fit beautifully together you can pick up sections not much dust beautiful um, soft silicon sort of feel finish and the pieces are completely matte so it just like absorbs the light there's no sheen at all whatsoever so just amazing um, yeah so just enjoyed this one it was nice to sort of try something a little bit different um, so yeah so that is everything for the month of July so I picked out my least favorite and my favorite puzzle for the month of July so the least favorite one was actually a pretty easy choice um, I picked the Oceana puzzle from Remarks Remarks however you say it uh, just basically because the quality is pretty like cheap and pretty yeah pretty low quality um, definitely not my favorite very sort of yeah thin flimsy pieces lots of dust they don't stay together well but you know I still really like the image so it's a pity that it's not nicer quality but like I said if I see these at a pretty low price and it's a nice image I might pick them up that's sort of my rule with Seiko as well um, so yeah and then the one that I decided was my favorite that was a bit of a trickier decision because there were just so many nice puzzles both in terms of like the design or artwork and also the quality but I decided to go with the Le Puz I Heart stickers puzzle um, I just had a lot of fun with it it was really nostalgic for me because I used to collect stickers as a kid it's so like bright and colorful and I just really love like the whole aesthetic of this brand and their puzzles like they're all really vintage and quirky and a bit weird and wacky and kind of humorous and it just really appeals to me I sort of really vibe with that kind of like aesthetic I guess so yeah I just really enjoyed it and you know I just am so keen to try more from this brand um, so even though like you know maybe some of the other puzzles had possibly slightly higher quality than this one um, like this one had a couple little issues with a bit of sheen and slightly looser fit it was still a very like good and fun puzzling experience so yeah I just really really enjoyed it and it's just so much fun so that's why I've chosen this one as my favorite so that was everything for the month of July uh, I didn't get to do too many puzzles but I am really pleased with the selection that I did do um, oddly there were just so many like beautiful nature or flora and fauna puzzles so I don't know what that was about I guess I was on a bit of a nature role or theme but yeah really pleased with them I think overall yeah most of the puzzles were just really nice quality and just had beautiful images so in the comments below let me know uh, you know which of these puzzles was your favorite and let me know what puzzles you got to do in the month of July if you enjoyed this video then make sure you show that like button some love and for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by subscribing not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released but you're also helping this channel grow and you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore jibby where you'll find even more puzzle content thanks so much and see you next time bye